Hey guys, Pete Bidwell here. How to be a better producer in around a minute. Well this time I'm warping a track in Ableton because I'm preparing it for a mix. So we come down here and we zoom in and the way I like to do it is I make sure that this warp marker is exactly where I'd like it to be at the beginning of the track and then Create a new warp marker, set it at 1.1.1, that's the beginning of the track. Turn the warp off and back on again. And then there we have our warp marker where we put it. And then I warp from here. And this is for a mix, guys, so everything's on the grid. So here we see. This is on the grid, but I don't put too many warp markers in, so I look at the drops. So I think here, where's there a drop? I just bring everything into line. Obviously I listen to it with the metronome on. So I normally do something like this, something at the beginning, something at the middle, something at the end. Let the track have its own flow. Turn the metronome on and then just check it out. So I hope that helped guys, and I'll see you next time.